Welcome back, my friends. Warren Buffett is one of the most successful investors in the world and one of the richest people on the planet. He was born in 1930 in Omaha, Nebraska, and started investing in stocks at a young age. In 1965, he took control of Berkshire Hathaway, a struggling textile company, and transformed it into a conglomerate that owns dozens of companies in various industries, including insurance, retail, and transportation. The investing legend and his partner, Vice Chairman Charlie Munger, shared their thoughts on EVs and the auto industry in general during a Q&A session. You will see a change in the vehicles, but you won't see anybody that owns the market because they changed the vehicle, Buffett said this weekend at Berkshire Hathaway's annual conference. So, what does this mean for Tesla? What does it mean for the economy? And, what does it mean about the future of the United States? But, before we get into all of that, please press the like button and leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. And, before we continue, a word from the sponsor of this video. Today's sponsor is InnerLife.com, creator of the InnerLife STS system. InnerLife STS is a cloud mobile platform for mental health care and its integration with primary medical care. InnerLife STS is designed for assessment, data collection and analytics, documentation, and progress tracking. InnerLife STS creates and composes conceptualized narratives and builds them into professional-grade reports. These reports are designed for use by mental health professionals, primary care physicians, justice system professionals and universities and include mental health assessment reports, mental health treatment reports, and treatment progress reports. And InnerLife STS uses doctor-selected pseudonames for all patients. So, only the healthcare professional knows the patient identity. Warren Buffett said this weekend that he admires Elon Musk, and the Tesla CEO has urged Berkshire Hathaway to invest in his electric vehicle maker. But while the Berkshire Hathaway CEO believes EVs will bring big changes to the auto market, he doubts any carmaker will be able to hold a dominant position. Buffett's investment strategy is based on the value investing philosophy, which involves buying undervalued stocks and holding onto them for the long term. He is also known for his patient approach to investing, as he believes in taking a long-term view and not being swayed by short-term market fluctuations. Berkshire Hathaway is a multinational conglomerate holding company based in Omaha, Nebraska, that is run by Warren Buffett. The company owns a diverse portfolio of businesses, including insurance, energy, manufacturing, retail, transportation, and more. Some of the well-known companies owned by Berkshire Hathaway include Geico, Duracell, Dairy Queen, BNSF Railway, and many others. Berkshire Hathaway's business model is based on acquiring and holding onto companies for the long term, rather than buying and selling them for short-term profits. The company's strategy is to find well-managed companies with strong competitive advantages and good long-term growth prospects, and to provide them with the financial resources they need to grow and succeed. One of the most unique aspects of Berkshire Hathaway is its investment portfolio, which includes significant stakes in companies like Apple, Coca-Cola, and American Express. The company's investment decisions are often closely watched by other investors and can have a significant impact on the markets. Overall, Berkshire Hathaway is known for its long-term focus, financial strength, and disciplined approach to investing and managing its businesses. They were asked about whether they saw any opportunities in zero-emissions vehicles, which seem to be on the cusp of widespread adoption. The audience member who asked the question didn't mention Tesla specifically. Nor did Buffett or Munger mention Tesla in their answer. But Musk has certainly made clear he'd like Berkshire Hathaway to invest in Tesla. In February, Musk answered a Twitter user's question about what Berkshire Hathaway should invest in, writing, starts with a T. Musk added, Munger could have invested in Tesla at tilde $200 million valuation when I had lunch with him in late 2008. Tesla's market cap is now about $530 billion. The replies by Buffett and Munger this weekend gave a glimpse into their reasoning on not investing in Tesla, Rivian, and other EV makers in the US. The electric vehicle is coming big time, and that's a very interesting development, said Munger. But, he added, at the moment, it's imposing huge capital costs and huge risks, and I don't like huge capital costs and huge risks. Charlie and I for long have felt that the auto industry is just too tough, Buffett said. It's just a business where you've got a lot of worldwide competitors, they're not going to go away. And it looks like there are winners at any given time, but it doesn't get you a permanent place. The Berkshire Hathaway conglomerate includes all kinds of companies, Duracell, Dairy Queen, 
and Fruit of the Loom are among the brands under its umbrella, but Buffett and Munger have never been especially enthusiastic about carmakers. It does own General Motors shares and one of the largest car dealers in the US, Berkshire Hathaway Automotive. And in China, however, Berkshire Hathaway has invested in Tesla rival BYD. Earlier this year, Munger said it's almost ridiculous how much BYD was beating Tesla in China, and he called BYD his best investment at Berkshire Hathaway. Musk has unleashed a price war in China. Musk has also slashed Tesla prices in the US, forcing rivals to follow suit. Ford, for example, this week announced price cuts for the Mustang Mach-E, the best-selling EV last year not built by Tesla. That marked the second time this year that Ford cuts costs after Tesla did so. Musk warned on an April 19 earnings call that he might be prepared to accept zero profit per vehicle sold, drawing swift backlash from investors worried about a damaging race to the bottom. Buffett did express confidence in one carmaker this weekend. I would say Ferrari is in a special place, but they only sell 11,000 or 12,000 cars a year, he said. Ferrari turned in a strong 2022. I think I know where Apple's going to be in 5 or 10 years, Buffett added, that, I don't know what the car companies are going to be in 5 or 10 years. If you have not already heard, Tesla is suddenly cutting vehicle prices. Price cuts are taking effect in the US and Europe. Tesla is trying to rejuvenate sales after lackluster year-end deliveries. The move in the US may help Tesla qualify for more federal EV tax credits. Tesla needs to stoke sales volume in the United States and abroad. The electric vehicle maker is facing stiffer competition and interest rates increased. If you follow stocks, you probably know that shares of Tesla have been falling pretty much all year. And where has Tesla CEO Elon Musk placed the blame? Well, if you follow this channel, you already know who he blamed. He blamed the usual whipping boy, deteriorating macroeconomic conditions. Many observers think that Musk's acquisition of Twitter has distracted him. Tesla stock has underperformed as compared to other automakers in the benchmark S&P 500 index. Meanwhile, Tesla has been taking aggressive actions to improve sales and operations. Wall Street analysts suspect that price cuts may help Tesla qualify for more federal EV tax credits. Higher interest rates are taking a bite out of sales. In Europe, Tesla cut prices on its Model 3 and Model Y vehicles. Tesla cut prices on the Model 3 and the Model Y from 1% to around 17%. Tesla's Model 3 was the best-selling electric vehicle in Germany in last month. The Tesla Model Y was second. Those two models outsold Volkswagen and its popular electric vehicle the ID.4 in Germany. With the new discount, Tesla's Model 3 is priced comparable to Volkswagen's ID.3. The price of a new Tesla Model 3 in the US has dropped between 6% and 14%, depending on configuration. Tesla cut the price of the Model Y by 19%, also depending on configuration. Tesla also cut the price of its Model S sedan. The Falcon-winged SUV Model X has also seen its price lowered. Generally, electric vehicles qualify for tax credits in the United States, depending on a few factors. The U.S. government is expected to set new rules about sourcing of raw materials and battery components. A $7,500 clean vehicle tax credit until at least the end of March 2023 is at stake in the United States. As things stand right now, Tesla, and other EV makers, can buy parts and critical minerals from anywhere. And they will still qualify for some EV subsidies. Under the current, interim rules, electric vehicles need to complete final vehicle assembly of their electric cars in North America. The latest round of discounts by Tesla are designed to capture EV tax credits in the longer term. But customers who just took delivery of Tesla vehicles at the end of 2022 paid higher prices. In late December, Tesla discounted its Model 3 and Model Y cars by about $7,500. The goal was to entice customers to take deliveries before the end of the fourth quarter. Tesla also gave some US customers 10,000 miles, worth of free supercharging. Tesla reported deliveries of 405,278 vehicles and production of 439,701 vehicles in Q4. Wall Street analysts expected 50% in annual vehicle delivery growth over several years. Tesla missed that goal and Wall Street analysts' expectations in the fourth quarter. Tesla now operates four vehicle assembly plants worldwide. In Fremont, California. A newer one in Austin, Texas its first overseas factory in Shanghai, and the newest one in Gruenheide, Germany.
Wall Street analysts expect much higher in 2023 than in previous years. But some bearish analysts are concerned over a possible demand cliff. Tesla is now facing headwinds. More competition. Higher interest rates. And slower consumer spending than in recent years. Tesla CEO Elon Musk sold billions of dollars worth of his Tesla shares in 2022. In 2021, Tesla had only the Fremont, California factory and the Shanghai China factory operating. Now, Tesla has the Giga Berlin factory and the Giga Austin factories up and running. One particular challenge is skyrocketing commodity prices. But, what do you think? Please leave a comment below and press the like button. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.